This is the Dogwood Chronicles, and this is my wife's garden. What do we got here? Did she plant asparagus, or is this dill? Looks like dill. Let's see. Well, I don't smell anything. I'm not good. Okay, we'll take. No, I'm not going to taste it. She got a couple of strawberries that started. She's got some bean plants over there. She brought the pots that were over near the shed door, the garage door over there, which I thought looked great. Like I said, we used to have a pool over there when we bought the place before that addition, we put that addition on. That whole patio, no, actually where the addition was and part of the patio was a pool. And it had a fence around it. So I put all my excess, uh, a few bags of topsoil, some mulch there. And anytime I'd come into a plant that uh, had to be removed someplace, I'd throw it in a plastic bag, mulch bag, empty mulch bag, bring it here, leave it in the bag open so that when it rained, water could get in there. And, um, and if they lived fine, if they didn't, well, no, nothing, what is it, ventured, nothing gained. So we used to have pots like this, and then I'd put them in pots. At some point, if I was really uh, energetic. But she brought these all up here. Um, she's, she's got some grapevines growing over there. And that nasty little bush, which was here with thorns on it, that I just didn't want to dig out. So we just left it couple of blueberries bushes over there they're not doing it anything but they're hanging in there she wants to put lilac in here I think or someplace in the sun lilac gotta go in the sun they're not working in our wherever we've got them and there is one it's in the sun right this very minute but it's just never they never flower uh, today's feast of St. Junipero Serra um, who uh, did missions in, in the 1700s up and down the coast of California when the Jesuits had to leave. They were ordered to leave by, I don't know, King somebody, Charles, I want to say. Uh, Yanipro Serra with his bad leg and his asthma, who eventually succumbed to tuberculosis, born in 1713, died in... Wait, was it 1713? 1713 died in... Okay, well, he died in 17-something. I might be having that off. It's 48. Yeah. Anyway, he uh, eventually died of tuberculosis. Tuberculosis. Um, Well-known, born in Spain. Well-known saint. Uh, took the name Junipero. Uni uh, who was the friend of St. Francis. So he started as a Franciscan, I, I suppose that means. I believe he had doctorates in theology and something else. Uh, he taught the, he converted thousands of Indians or Native Americans, whatever you want to call it, say. And he taught them uh, European methods of agriculture uh, cattle, uh, animal husbandry, which I guess is a nice way of saying making animals make babies. Um, yeah. So let's ask, uh, Junipero Serra. St. Assunta Marchetti and St. Nicasius of Jerusalem to pray for us. To pray for the Americas, pray for conversion of the Americas, which would be an example to the world. Trust me on this one. I don't know. Well, how did it, well see now when Guadalupe happened, when um, Our Lady of Guadalupe came, that was in the 1600s. So with our rapid media, although the woke people and the, and the atheists would try to suppress it, but with our, our media today and, and all that, I believe it would in the time of Guadalupe, which was, I think, the 1600s, 1500s. It may not have made such a splash to the rest of the world, but today, a conversion of Cuba, overthrowing the communist government or outlasting them, basically. I'm not looking, I'm not talking about violent overthrows, but 
if the conversion of the people pretty much wilted the uh, communists, um, if in Mexico the conversion of the Mexicans, Mexican people in mass uh, melted the uh, gangs and the drug cartels, if the United States conversion of the United States melted all our stupid ideas and our ignorant uh, unwillingness to say enough is enough, this isn't true, that's not true, that's not a woman, that's a man, don't be, don't, yeah. Um, so let's ask these saints to pray for us. Let's pray for the souls of purgatory and pray for conversion of the Americas, which I believe would be announced to the world and would be help to be a conversion and might be a turn of the tide back. The United States brought these stupid ideas, again, with great, what is it, with great power comes great responsibility or whatever. When the world is looking at the United States and then we do these stupid things, we're responsible for wokeness. We're responsible for these dumb ideas going around the world, I would say. Think about it. So let's ask uh, that we be responsible for something good uh, as we used to be.